As of March 30th, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 693,282 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 33,106 deaths. There are now 81,137 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. On the evening of Monday, March 30th, the laboratory director at the Ezra Long Lab diagnosed an additional four cases of COVID-19, bringing the total confirmed cases in St. Lucia to 13. The first case is a 37-year-old female with no travel history but was in contact with someone within the tourism industry. She presented to our healthcare facility on March 23rd. The second case is a 34-year-old female with no travel history, no known contact with someone with significant travel history and presented to our healthcare facility on March 24th. The third case is a 54-year-old female with no travel history as well and came into the healthcare facility on March 24th. The fourth case is a 40-year-old male with no history of travel but contact with persons with recent travel into St. Lucia. He came into our healthcare facility on March 25th. All of the four cases were captured through our community respiratory clinic. Since their diagnosis, they have been placed in isolation at a medical facility. Our teams are currently in the field undertaking tracing of the contacts of these cases. St. Lucia's three facility-based quarantine sites continue to house over 300 persons. To date, none of these individuals have displayed any signs or symptoms of COVID-19, and given that they remain asymptomatic, the first group of persons are scheduled to be discharged from facility-based quarantine this weekend. The Department of Health implores everyone to support the national scale-down and curfew measures that have been put in place to protect the health and safety of every citizen. These measures, if adhered to by each and every individual, shall significantly slow down the spread of COVID-19. On its own, the virus is unable to spread. As such, remaining at home, avoiding social and recreational activities, the potential of an outbreak of COVID-19 is significantly reduced. Though keeping these social distance measures may be challenging for some and very different from what we know to be the normal, its benefit in preventing of the prevention of local transmission surpasses any inconveniences we face. We continue to advise the public on standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. We also ask the public to keep your immune system high by ensure that you are eating healthy um, while at home, that is a diet made of fruits and vegetables, and also to get whatever exercise that you can get at home and in your yard. By keeping a good immune system, you'll reduce your possible chances of developing COVID-19 if you were to be in contact with someone who has it. As usual, the Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.